Abortion, it is a hot topic at the State House with today's focus on a bill called the Human Life Protection Act. Our State House reporter Morgan Trow has been covering the bill since its introduction and tells us today's discussion turned into a religious debate. Patient autonomy is at the heart of the reason that House Bill 598 cannot be passed. Doctors, religious leaders, advocates, and community members spent Thursday testifying about why Ohio shouldn't enact a total abortion bill with no exceptions for rape or incest. This is a trigger bill, meaning if Roe v. Wade gets overturned, then if passed, this bill would take effect. These beliefs are neither Jewish, nor are they respectful of the right of Jewish people to practice our religious values in accordance with Jewish law. A major argument brought up in testimony today was religious freedom. Senior Rabbi Sharon Mars explains that House Bill 598, the Human Life Protection Act, violates her beliefs. The mother's life, um, even over the fetus, but her life takes precedent. The child is not considered a child until it actually has left the womb. A soul is not a soul, a person is not a person until it leaves the womb. Jerry Freewalt with the Catholic Conference of Ohio disagrees, stating that he understands that Judaism may think that way, but Catholicism thinks another. We do believe that life starts at conception. In terms of the Catholic Church, um, we support the rights of the unborn child. It's expected that different religions have different belief systems, but one organization tells me that the bill supporters do not reflect their faith. We at Catholics for Choice are here to give a voice for the silent majority who is so often overwhelmed by this very vocal minority who does not represent the real views of Catholics in this country. Shannon Russell with Catholics for Choice testified, sharing statistics from Pew and Gallup that one in four abortion patients is Catholic and that 75% of Catholics think abortion should be legal either in all or in certain circumstances. At the very core of Catholic faith is the role of individual conscience. Freewalt was able to testify in a hearing that was just for supporters the week prior. During that hearing, bill supporters addressed this, saying that freedom of religion didn't apply in this case. The protection of life is not competing with religious rights. All people are, have an inalienable right to life. We can't paint with such a broad brush um, based from one um, particular religious sensibility or belief system. It's likely that the Roe v. Wade decision will come out before the next bill hearing. At the State House, Morgan Trow, News 5.